guys hi everyone <laughs> i don't like that i can't hear myself properly i know i can <laughs> i can hear you just fine see i need to hear me so i know how i sound <laughs> We got fancy new equipment in the recording studio. I say we. We I didn't know, actually we own it. We didn't contribute <laughs> anything. We did our tuition. What are you talking about? Okay, yeah. yeah we we're paying like a, a million dollars to be here. But I guess showing interest made them be like, okay, we got to renovate the studio then. Yes. Um, so car keys. And I, so today, okay, last week was supposed to be our BTS tier list ranking, but Kayla fell ill and I didn't finish listening to the 37 songs. <laughs> I feel like 37 songs is a little amount compared to all their good songs. That is true. I so. do, it is not that much. Because <laughs> yesterday I knocked out like, um, how many, like maybe four songs in under an hour i feel like once you get past the music videos in the first few it's not going to be as long yeah um i really wish i could do like a I, I what i want to do is do like a deep dive where i kind of listen to each song three times and really get into it but because there's so many songs and i don't yeah, have infinite time yeah most of these are just my first impressions that i wrote down but you know that's fine so next week will be the bts tier list See, and the thing is, K-pop groups, they run on, like, a storyline. So, some of their albums are connected in ways that there's, like, a, a, another universe, basically. You know what? That makes sense, because I was confused for a lot of the music videos. I was like, what is going on? It is going confusing, on? but <laughs> some of them... See, we didn't put the music videos in order of the storyline. Mm -hmm. We just chose two from each album. So, it's gonna be hard for you to, like, grasp what's happening in certain ones, because there is a lore to it. Okay, that makes sense. I was a little conf I was, like, watching the music videos, like, what is going Which on? Which one was confusing? <laughs> Which one was confusing? I don't even know. Let me look my spot. Yeah, I could it. try to debunk Oh, yeah, I, 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 I Need You was, like, what, I was, like, what's happening? So, BCS's whole storyline is that one of the members has this timepiece, I think. And he can basically um, go back in time, and he's trying to save each of the members. So, in I Need You, I think that's the video where, like, each of them is going through a hardship, I think. Is it that one? I mean, I would, I would say so. <laughs> okay, I think um, I someone's that... house burns, someone's in a bathtub... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. I do remember a bathtub. There's one member that's trying to save each of them in that scenario. So it's like different cases where things are happening, and he's trying to go back in time to prevent it. Okay, that's So yeah, it, it's difficult to explain the entire thing. <laughs> it's so long. <laughs> that's okay. I mostly judge them for the how much I like the music, the choreography. Yeah. That, that kind of thing. I need you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I love that one. Um, all right, so I don't have a strict set plan for what we're going to talk about because it's kind of, um, impromptu because we were meant to do the tier list today, but I wasn't prepared and <laughs> Kayla's still sick. It's okay. I feel like the unplanned episodes are always the best ones. <laughs> I personally don't like, like, episode four from season one was mm -hmm. completely unplanned and I don't think I like that one. I don't even remember what that one was about. <laughs> All I remember is that we opened with like a SpongeBob quote. Um, we opened with Why is did this you the do that? Is this the crusty crab? Oh, okay. And then I was like, no. Okay, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> yeah, that was I unplanned. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it because I started laughing. It See, I feel like joke. none of the episodes are planned. It's just the amount of stuff that we have on a list to talk about. Yeah, it depends. Um, yeah, it's mostly unplanned. I just have things to talk about. Yeah. Um, but last night, I was listening to... Is it is the song I Am Your Mother or Just Mother? I think it's Just Mother. By Megan Trainer because I was originally going to do like a deep dive video into why the song is confusing to me, but then I <laughs> gave up on that. I was like... That's too much. Actually, never mind. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I am your mother. <laughs> you no, no, no. <laughs> Stop. 
stop all the misery. <laughs> no one's listening. Shh. I hate that she added in the shh, because every time I hear the song, I have to say, <laughs> I have to do the shh. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> I mean, Megan Trainor's music for me, it's like, I find her songs annoying, but they are fun. Like, it's like, I have to begrudgingly Listen, give her that. Like, after we talked about this, was it yesterday? It was the day before. Okay, the car ride back yesterday, like, a Megan Trainor song came on on YouTube, and you know the re the recommendations oh after. Gosh. Megan Trainor, Megan Trainor, oh Megan Trainor. I was just like, okay. <laughs> All of her catchy songs came up. Um, That one, No, Me Too. All About That Bass, is that it? Mm-hmm. And yeah, some yeah. other one. Oh my gosh. Because all about that. Know I'm all about that bass. <laughs> all about that bass is such an interesting song for me because it's probably the first Megan Trainor song I ever listened to. Oh damn. And you you already know this, but when I first heard the song and I heard her voice, I legitimately thought she was black. I did not know that. What oh, do you mean? You I never told, I told me that. I thought I told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I huh. I can't see it. She sounds white. I'm sorry. No, I <laughs> do keep in mind I was like six or seven at the time. Oh, okay. Um, and I was in a predominantly black school. <laughs> and I think the reason I thought this was because she sounded vaguely like one of my friends who oh. was black. So I just thought that she was black. Yeah. So you can imagine my surprise a few years <laughs> later when I see her and I'm like, wait, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> this isn't what I thought it was. <laughs> gosh, I thought, oh my gosh. That was such a shock to the system. I mean, I didn't <laughs> care that much because, you know, I was a kid. Kids yeah. don't care about these things too much. <laughs> but it was still like, oh, damn. I thought I she... Uh, so that was fun. I wrote in my notes here. Mm -hmm. I called her Megalodon Trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, when I think a nickname can't get any funnier, you just pull out the worst ones. <laughs> like when I, called, when I called Benji B movie. <laughs> I don't know what they just random words just random words just come to me, and then I'm like, okay, I, this is a nickname now. <laughs> Dang. Um, yeah. Who the fuck? No one wants to install updates. <laughs> Go away. <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like the song is catchy. I just, I don't understand the mother term. Yeah, like, the lyric says, must have forgot who you're talking to. And I'm like, Mrs. Ma'am, who are you talking to? <laughs> like She's talking to a boy that he's gotten arrogant. That's what I got from the entire lyrics. But I don't get why she says that she's his mother. It sounds yeah. like they're in a relationship. Yeah, that's so weird. Like, initially when I heard the song for the first time, and I think I saw it, I think I watched, like, one of her shorts, because obviously she's making a bunch of shorts with the song, and they're popping up all over my YouTube feed, and I can't escape <laughs> from them. Um, she was doing the dance um, with... She usually dances with, like, two other people. Yeah. And um, her son, Riley, would run in and hug her. You know, because... Cuteness she's overload. Yeah. <laughs> um, which is cute, I guess. And then she would always, like, rub her stomach because she is currently pregnant. And so I thought the bum in the lyrics was referring to her baby bump, and she just got rid of the pee. Uh-uh. <laughs> um Yeah, no, I if you're wondering, no, I do not function well. No, because she says before that whole bum 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 part <laughs> she says you're just a bum. And I, then she repeats that. See I but she rubs her stomach when she says that, so I thought she meant like you're just Listen, she's just rubbing her stomach to rub her stomach. I know. <laughs> Don't read too much into it. <laughs> she just wants to be like, hey, by the way, I'm like pregnant and stuff. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Which I mean good for her, I guess. 
How I old is her son? I'm sorry. He looks like three at the most. He's so cute. His glasses. <laughs> oh no, I don't like those glasses. <laughs> no, I said that to myself. Look, look, I'm not trying to hate on her. I said that to my siblings yesterday. I was like, dude, they did her so dirty. With they did him so dirty with those glasses. <laughs> it kind of magnifies his eyes. It does. But I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't like it. He's he, a cute baby. He though. looks cartoony. <laughs> Now I want to pull up a picture of him. As a <laughs> it looks like he came from one of those, like early two thousands movies, mm -hmm. like Spy Kids. Yeah, I know she's married to the <laughs> guy in Spy Kids, so maybe that's he's a literal Spy Kids. So. <laughs> maybe that's what they were going for. Um, or Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I remember really liking that movie as a kid and. One you time, watch it when you're older, and it's just not. Yeah, I went to rewatch, and I was like, "This is not that great." I mean, it's not bad. It is kind of fun, but not that much. I don't know. It's weird. I I have to watch it again. I rewatched it when I was like 13, and thought yeah. this is under. It was underwhelming, considering how much I liked it as a kid. I think I feel like as movies progress and technology gets better. Once we look back at those older shows, we're like, this is so bad compared to stuff now. I think that's where our mindset goes. That is true. But back then, it, obviously that's the thing that was popular, so you're gonna hype it up. That is true. I just feel like they didn't have a budget for the effects in the first place. Because if you look at other movies true. from the same time, they don't look that bad. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, You can't tell that they're old, but they don't look bad. Yeah. But maybe they just didn't have a budget. That's what it looks like. Maybe. It's it's fine. I it's it's not it's not the worst thing in the world. That movie I still is... like the plot though. Yeah. Um I think I like the idea behind the movie more than the movie itself, but yeah. yeah. And I remember one time I the freaking uh dream rap that Shark Boy sings at one point mm -hmm. came up on my for you page and I was like, "Dang, this actually slaps though." It does. <laughs> That's why it became a whole trend. And of course, everyone's favorite meme, um, he ruined my dream show. <laughs> 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 I did not. Mr. Electric sent him to the principal's office and have him expelled. Yo. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> um. What were we talking about? We were talking about Megan Trainor. The song. Yeah. Um, so I am very confused about what Mother is trying to achieve. Yeah. Um, also the music video is so, like, it's so... <sighs> <laughs> like, when you watch the music video, I guess it becomes more clear that she's not talking to a child. Obvious. <laughs> but, I mean, the lyrics after the chorus makes it clear that she's not talking to a child for me i know that's when i got what she was trying to say but and at one point in the actual song she does say shake your bum so i have i i now know that it she's not talking about her baby bum no so. she wasn't bum is an insult I it's know. like kids use it these days i know my brother be on roblox and he, he'll call everyone a bum. listen i did not understand what was going on <laughs> the lyrics made no sense all i could think of is why does she get to use the sandman remix <laughs> in the, the song because one of the youtubers that i like danny gonzalez mm -hmm. He used to use, like, a remix of that same song, like, the Sandman remix at the end of his videos. But at some point, they got copyright claimed. So oh. now all of his older videos are muted at the end. And, Dang. or no, they're not muted. They have, like, a random song playing over what he's saying. And I was yeah. so confused for the longest time before he explained what happened. Dang. Or I watched the video where he explained what happened. And I was like, oh, so that's why. <laughs> I was like, why would you... Like, it's him saying words, but yeah. over top of it, there's just music, music. playing that's completely unrelated. And I'm like, <laughs> why is this happening? Dang, poor guy. <laughs> Eventually, he made his own song to put at the end of his videos, so uh, a few of his videos from, like, 2019 onward are not like that. Yeah. 
But yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was uh, interesting. Copywriting on YouTube is crazy, though. Don't get me started on that shit. It, it <laughs> <laughs> I unlocked a whole level of trauma. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be that difficult. I understand that in some cases it is wrong, but mm -hmm. still. Yeah, YouTube should be more, uh, I don't know, something. Yeah, like, I wish that I could just do a video where I review songs and play the song as I'm reviewing it. But copyright? Nope. You know what? Um, this one YouTuber called the Mysterious Mr. Enter. Mm -hmm. Ooh, controversial. <laughs> <laughs> he is a controversial YouTuber, but um, may I ask why? He's. Do I want to ask why? I mean, it's not. He he's not the worst person on the platform <laughs> okay. by a long shot. There are literal actual child predators on this platform, so he is nowhere near. As bad as they are um he just he, he just be saying whatever and then <laughs> consequences occur. of course <laughs> like my brother was trying to convince me that mr. beast is racist last okay. night because <laughs> he, he what did he even say he was like um he's he's gonna rob a store then his friend said no he can get locked up for that and he said no I can't because I'm white <laughs> the sad thing is, he's kind of right. He is right. That's why I was like, is it racist or is it just fact? Yeah, it's just that's just the fact. <laughs> like, bro. Now, if he says something like, "What? What do I look like? A African American?" Yeah, now, that would have been out of pocket. Exactly. Um. But anyway, what was I saying? Right. So, Mr. Enter made a video a couple days ago about mm -hmm. the best cartoon theme songs, and what he did was. There's a certain amount of seconds you can play copyrighted material uninterrupted and unedited okay. yeah. before it gets shanked by YouTube. So I think it's like about five seconds. Oh, dang. And then what he did after those five seconds mm -hmm. we, where he played the sample is have it play very quietly in the background while he talks. That's smart. Yeah, and I think that seemed, that seemed to work for him pretty well. I'm just wondering, like, because I've seen videos where people use songs in it and i'm wondering how is that not copyrighted uh i guess it depends on several factors because sometimes sometimes it, it doesn't get copyrighted right away it takes a while for youtube to catch it okay but like this um fitness trainer she'll use k-pop songs in her videos and it'll play like the entire song while she's showing the exercises is she talking or is there any sound during that in that case there was no talking hmm that's weird like the only thing you could hear is like the beeps that's telling you when to start this exercise and when to stop the exercise so i'm like and her channel is basically all of that so i'm wondering how how do they not get copyrighted there must be i don't know maybe no, I got nothing. <laughs> I know, I can't explain it either. The only thing I can think of is that she has some kind of agreement with the company. I don't know. That wouldn't make much sense, though. Cause... I know, I, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, I don't know the laws. So this is a video, and it, it'll just play the song the entire time. And there's nothing, no one's talking or anything. She's just showing the exercise. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm like, it's confusing to me how certain things are copyrighted, but then others aren't. Mm, I guess it just kind of depends. Like, um, my recent Loud House video didn't get copyrighted, by the way. Link in the description. <laughs> um... I'm very proud of that video, and people should be. people seem to really like it, so that's nice. Um, we'll come back to that in a second, actually, because I want to say a few things. Um, which I was kind of surprised on, because uh, the very beginning I played like the entire prom promo mm -hmm. for um, the show back when it was like about to air in 2016, Dang. and I didn't even do the thing where I have it. Um, you know, not f full screen. Yeah. So I was kind of surprised I didn't get copyright claimed for that. <laughs> See, they're selective. 
that that that's so weird. But <laughs> I'm very happy. My video has no restrictions. I could monetize it if I wanted to. Do it. <laughs> once I, that's once, where you'll get copyrighted. <laughs> once I'm allowed to be monetized, you better believe. <laughs> I'm gonna tr when I monetize my videos. I'm gonna try my best to at least not make the ads come in in the middle of a sentence or something. Yeah. Also, like ad breaks. If any of my videos currently have ads on them, which I don't know because I don't know. <laughs> if any of my videos currently have ads, that's not me. YouTube did that. Exactly. YouTube <laughs> is reaping all of the benefits from my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing a penny of that at the t at the current moment. Sue them, sue. Fuck you, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, copyright is weird. Maybe, I mean, Megan Trainer is, like, a pop star and stuff, so maybe she, she paid is. the royalties required to have the copyrighted song in yeah, there. Yeah, she probably did. Because I know for, for the Amphibia finale, they mm. had Lean On Me play. <laughs> um, not the finale, the season one finale. Um, they had the song Lean On Me play, and, um, first of all, now everybody associates that song with Amphibia, Dang. which is just so funny. <laughs> um, and I do know that the create, not, well, they had to pay a bunch of money to get the, uh, Dang. royalties on that, and, yeah, that song is fairly popular. And, um, let's see, Dana Terrace wanted to use a licensed song in I don't know what episode of the Owl House but some episode, probably one of the finales um, and at, that was the time around when COVID hit and yeah. um, budget cuts were made Damn. pretty much everywhere um, so yeah unfortunately they were unable to do that which is fine <laughs> <laughs> it sucks that it costs so much money for stuff like that though yeah, I do get it though. In in, yeah. in cases like that, I do understand why, because um, I would definitely hate if someone were just to um, take your work. Yeah, profit <laughs> off of my hard work. Exactly. Without um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it, like I, dude, I worked hard on that. Come on. Exactly. Yep. Speaking of my work. <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> Ah, fuck, I got distracted. <laughs> Who the fuck is giving me no... Okay. So if you're a subscriber on my channel and you're a fan of uh, those YouTube polls, or the co community tabs, my bad, then you know that I ran a poll. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> The other day, was it the other day? Yeah. Where I basically asked you which character from my, um, from my original series. Why did I say it like that? Original series. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> no one has ever thought of this concept ever. No one. And, um, I guess I should explain it to people who don't If you don't know. make this into a show one day, though, like seriously. I, I, I want to. I know. I... <laughs> Make a deal with, um, not Disney. Definitely, Definitely not. not Disney. <sighs> Maybe Nicktoons. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nick treats their properties way worse than Disney. Oh, my gosh. Nick would turn me Listen. down just because the main character is female. They've done it before. <laughs> They've done it recently. <laughs> I forgot how controversial they are because they have some of my favorite shows. That um, is true. It's so sad to learn. It is these things then there's basically no good listen then just go with disney at this point <laughs> i feel like cartoon network is the least That's like cartoon, true. cartoon network is still bad but that. it's the lesser of the yeah. three evils like <sighs> they're the big threes yeah um words <laughs> i i would love to get prince and princess on TV in some some way some form you should I would adore that so you much you know what start your own cartoon channel <laughs> <laughs> listen um see I'm trying to figure out how that would work like I remember in our yeah. um 
in um, our core P classes, we learn that nowadays a lot of people have more than one aspiration for their life. Mm -hmm. So some people do um, their one career, and then after a while they're like, all right, now I want to do this other thing. Yeah. And I kind of think I want to do that. You should. I feel like you could even do it at the same time, too. Like, you're making money with your main career of sense, and then your dream career, you use that money to profit for. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, that's what I think I would do, because I my dream career is probably writing. I told my mom that, and she was like, you know you can be a doctor and a writer at the same time, right? Yeah, I was told that when I was a kid. My um, neighbor, she was like, you know you can do both. Right. Yeah, I was like, wait. And I'm like, okay, I think I could handle both if I have my money, and then I have the means of doing it. I'll, I will make that work. So yeah, um, that that might be what I end up doing after after do I'm that. done with the doctor thing. I'll be like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> it's over for all of you. <laughs> That'll give me enough time to learn how to voice act because um, be your own voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed from my Loud House video, I'm not the best with projecting. Actually, I wanted to do my own list of my top 20 favorite theme songs. Yeah. Um, and the theme, the theme song for The Ghost of Molly McGee would definitely be on there. And I would be like, dude, this is the song that taught me that I cannot project my voice on command. <laughs> <laughs> She she puts so much excitement into the song and I just mm -hmm. can't do that. <laughs> no. I, and I, I've tried and you I wanted to, to practice. I wanted to record this bit where I try to get the um excitement in and I just yeah. keep failing. <laughs> oh no. Just put more practice into it. Uh, and like you said, you can practice best. over the years too and get good. I'll like whilst you're going to school, do all of that. Practice makes perfect. So that's why a lot of people are like, why don't you want to be a doctor? And I'm like, listen, okay? I'm not even <laughs> as... F okay, it's not that I'm not fully committed. It's just that I, I want to do more than one thing. Yeah. Anyway, I com we completely got off topic. <laughs> but it's fun when we go off topic. <laughs> it is true. I just, like, created my entire life's plan. <laughs> Hold on. Did you finish your peer review? I'm gonna do that. Because... Okay, I now, only, now I'm gonna keep a time check. It's three oh six. Listen, I got it for three <laughs> until th we're here till three thirty. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, and we got twenty seven minutes recorded. This is gonna be a shorter episode because yeah. we don't have a concrete plan. I'd say another ten minutes, maybe. If I talk about everything that I want to talk about, because <laughs> I've got, <laughs> I want to discuss this briefly. And then, um, follow up on the Darman situation. Okay, yeah. Because Jarvis Johnson just made a video about it, and I wanted to read Darman's, oh. um, post from, I don't, I don't even know, is it the same? I didn't even read the post, it might be literally exactly what we read last week, and I'm gonna Maybe. look like a fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> last week, like, four weeks listen, ago. Listen, it's okay. <laughs> it was last week. Um... What were we talking about? I was talking about my work. Yeah. Right. So I ran a poll being like, okay, which of these characters is your favorite? So if you don't know, I I write a series, quote unquote. <laughs> I, mean, I, I do write it. I just, I, I can't get it out fast enough, okay? Mm. You're going to have to trust me. Stuff is happening behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling a Vipsy Pop. <laughs> um... It's basically, basically the story is about uh, two orphaned royal children and their butler, who is low-key, their surrogate father. And then... <laughs> Why are you Hold on. Hold on. What's Did I miss a chapter? <laughs> do I need to go more into this lore? <laughs> what do you mean, surrogate father? What, what are you confused about? No, keep going. What keep did going. I say that is no, 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 keep no. going. <laughs> no, keep going. <laughs> like, I need you to send me the very first making of this. Okay, not So I can go through the entire thing. Not to be that person. Mm -hmm. I haven't finished the, um, 
the last part of that one comic that I was making, I made like a three-parter. Yeah. That kind of like showed the backstory of how he ended up acquiring these kids. Acquiring, yeah. acquiring these children, <laughs> yo. <laughs> At this point, they're not even humans. He just acquired. Them. <laughs> Mission successful. <laughs> the oh. items have been have been retrieved. <laughs> you went on a mission to re <laughs> yo. Listen. Um. I have not finished that. I will. I promise. <laughs> okay, I'll read that when you do, because I need to understand this more. I did. Part of the development is that he slowly, you know, becomes... What, what, what word am I looking for? <laughs> he slowly starts to be like, okay, I guess I'm a... His, his whole arc is, guess I'm a dad now. Yeah, that, I that's, guess. That's the arc. <laughs> um... Let's see how how far am I? Let's let's take a look. It's in a book. Read it really well. Why do I say things? <laughs> <laughs> I I could cut that out, right? No, you can't. It's too late. No. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I was uh, being a little liberal um, the other time. I I just cut out pauses mostly because yeah. I feel like some of the longer pauses don't need to be there. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh my gosh, I need to organize my Procreate uh, gallery. Okay, let's see. Done, done. I tried shade. I, I've been shading my pieces now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, doing the bare fucking minimum. Oh no. Listen, shading is scary. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna accidentally like read this. Okay, I got one more page left. Okay, and then it's out. Yeah, and Look I have forward to, to that. I have to reorganize this page as well, cause you have one week. No, no, no. After that, you lose a subscriber. <gasps> no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, if you want to read this, then I will put um links in the description for Tumblr and Instagram, cause that's where all my stuff is. Or, I mean, I'm gonna post the speed paints eventually, and you could just read it that way. Even though <laughs> I feel like you can tell that this was over the course of a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, I we went completely off topic. Oh my gosh. I thought this is what you wanted to talk about. <laughs> I know no, I just I when, whenever we do that, I lose my train of thought and then I forget what we were supposed to initially <laughs> talk about. Initially, we're talking about the prince, princess story. Right. <laughs> um, you can just call it Prince and Princess. That's fine. Okay. People think that that's a generic title, and then I hit them with, no, that's not the full <laughs> title. That's just the shortened version for you fucking wusses. Because <laughs> in, in Instagram, every time I tag it, I put the full entire Dang. title. <laughs> Luckily... I've done it enough times mm -hmm. that all I have to do is put like the first three words and, and the rest of it up. pops up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's nice. It's nice to have your own hashtag. Hell yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I ran a poll being like, okay, which character is your favorite? Prince, princess, or servant? And servant won by a landslide. Of which, course. Which I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I knew from day one, I was like, they're gonna, everybody's gonna latch on to Servant, if no one else. But I kind of expected Prince and Princess to be neck and neck, Yeah. you know? If you want to vote in that poll, go ahead. I mean, <laughs> read the story first. And then do it. Yeah, so you can form your own opinion instead of going with the majority. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> I kind of expected Prince and Princess to be closer. <laughs> Except that's not what you got. Um, so yeah, Poor I'm Prince. surprised you guys <laughs> don't like Prince as much. I, I, I'm sure it's not that they don't like him. They yeah, just... they just prefer... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, his name is literally first in the title, and y'all are gonna do him <laughs> like that? Of course. <laughs> um... <laughs> 
But yeah, I, I, I made a comment on that post being like, I wish I had posted this during February so I could be like, during Black <laughs> History Month is crazy. Because um, Prince has the darkest skin tone of all of them. And Servant is uh, light skin. <laughs> He's a light skin. I remember Should when I that was what? a whole trend on TikTok, like being light skinned. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, Should I say white? I don't know. They don't live no, in America. No, just, just say light skin. Yeah, it's like they don't. <laughs> they live in uh, an island that was kind of isolated from yeah. the rest of the world. Like, you know that whole. How it's kind of a meme how Switzerland kind of just watched from the sidelines during both <laughs> world wars switzerland just <laughs> it's just doing a thing on its own yeah it doesn't Swiss, need to be in all Swiss, this drama switzerland was minding its own business <laughs> switzerland was benji <laughs> we can't tell you the rest we can't tell you the context for that uh, i'm sorry that's actually what i was thinking you know <laughs> you just said it out loud though <laughs> I will be out of pocket and not apologize. <laughs> you do not need to apologize. <laughs> but um yeah, that's basically what they are. They 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 pretty much avoid the rest of the world. I think it's yeah. also kind of like um if you've watched Black Panther, it's kind of like Wakanda as well, where they're kind of like we don't accept aid from you people. <laughs> <laughs> they're secretly super advanced. Yeah. There is no what is the element called? Vibranium. There's vibranium, no vibranium yeah. involved though. I want to introduce fantasy creatures into this world, but I feel like, I'm like, is it too late for me to do that? There's this show, Riverdale. Maybe you've heard of it. I've heard of it, I've never watched it. They I'm pretty sure they introduced some type of fantasy something, and it was not received well. Because it was like, That's into the second of. season. That's what I'm scared of. But I'm like, technically speaking, everybody... Everybody knows I'm not a professional writer yet. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows I'm not a professional writer, so surely people are not going to, like, but <laughs> throw a tantrum if I... I feel like you could pull it off, though, if you I tried could, it. I yeah. could. I have a few ideas for how I can kind of naturally integrate it without, yeah. um, you know, Don't throwing make it, like, people sudden, off exactly. Much. Yeah. I'm that going to use the, the joke from problem. Gravity Falls. Look, a fairy. <laughs> oh, sorry, dudes. I killed that fairy. <laughs> Gravity Falls is top tier. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. but yes. Um, so was that it? Is that all I wanted to say? Maybe. <laughs> I wrote about. Um, I wrote one of their story arcs for mm -hmm. our fiction workshop because. Yeah. We had to submit a fiction piece, and now I'm just like... <sighs> You're anxious. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready for that feedback. Isn't, your, isn't yours the first week, though, the workshop? Or is second. it the second? The end of the second week at that. So we might not <laughs> even get to mine until the, the next The third Monday. week, right? Yeah. Dang. Um, but this is, like, going to be the first time I hear feedback for my work that isn't just... Wow, this is so this is so cool. Yeah. Or, it's going to be like so deep dive. Yeah. This is the first time people are going to deep dive into my work and I am so excited. Because that's kind of how I write all my work. I write my stories as if someone is going to do a deep dive into them. Yeah. And then I get disappointed because no that one That'll make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get it. I'm like a tiny little channel. It's fine. Oh no. But I do write all my stories as if someone is going to do a deep dive into them. Yeah. So I'm very, um, very anxious for this. I think this class is the first class that really pushed me to share anything that I write. Because mm -hmm. I've been writing for years and I, I've never felt comfortable like sharing it. But once we started in this class, I was like, okay, it's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> I can see why people do it. Yeah, my throat is getting drier at the moment. <laughs> oh no. And it's almost 3.30. <laughs> Listen. Is it? Yes. 3.18. Um, so one of the comments on my Loud House video mm -hmm. was somewhat, so first of all, my Loud House video was mostly negative. I tried to say some nice things, but. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to say some nice things. I tried to. 
Listen, if you click on a video where someone looks angry in the thumbnail, <laughs> probably you should not going to be a positive video. <laughs> Rule of thumb. <laughs> someone commented, I love the Loud House and the live action series. And I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. That was irrelevant. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just said, did you at least like the video? <laughs> <laughs> They said, it's fine, but I don't think you're right about the show. And then they say a bunch of other stuff that I really don't understand what they mean. But they basically say that um, the show could make some really good stories. And it took me a while to figure out what was going on. But after I did, I commented back and I was like, yeah, they could make good stories. But they don't. They don't. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> That's the problem. They don't They don't make good stories. <laughs> Um, like they said, they wanted to see a story where um, one of the sisters goes up against Chandler in order to protect Lincoln. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, that would be fun. Too bad the writers would never do it. <laughs> I feel like it has... Hmm. I like the backstory to The Loud House. But I do agree with most of the points that you make on it. <laughs> like, Even though I haven't watched it fully enough to critique it, I guess... But from what I saw, I don't know. Um, yeah, but most people on that video uh, were like, yeah, the show kind of sucks now, which is sad. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say it like that. <laughs> One person did point out something that I'm like, damn, I should have mentioned that. They mentioned that a lot of the plots in the newer seasons are recycled from the older seasons. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're so right. I should have said that in the video. It's Gosh, like, it. they have a good plan, but they don't know how to execute it. And they did not execute it properly. Mm. Like, oh gosh. The Lat House would play a lot when I was at home for spring break. Yeah. Um, And I know I said in the video that I wasn't going to check out new episodes. There weren't no episodes. <laughs> but um, I remember watching one of the episodes and thinking, they really took, like, for example, they flanderized... Um, Lynn a whole lot. She's like the sporty character. Now yeah. she's just a dickwad. Oh no. <laughs> and it's like they really took her most unlikable traits and ramped them up to a hundred. Like that's always the thing about flanderization. Why do you all always take the worst possible traits to flanderize? Like, oh, hold no. on. Can you imagine if in SpongeBob, instead of Mr. Yeah. Krabs' money thing being his main trait, what if his main trait was that he was is a dad to per, to uh, a teenage girl? What if that huh. was his main defining trait? Can you imagine how different he would be of a character? He would be totally different. Now, to be fair, I don't know how many stories you could do with that. You can't do many stories with that. But I'm just saying, <laughs> it would make him a completely different character. It would. I in agree. those newer seasons, the post-Tillenburg era. I can agree with that. I, I see where that's going. I feel like post Tilburg era is a weird term of phrase to use because it's like, I'm talking about after the first Spongebob movie because that's when he left. Yeah. Then he came back after the second movie and then he sadly passed away in 2018. Rest Dang. in peace. Rest in peace. The, the vibe just went down, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have <laughs> done that so suddenly. Okay, then let's just try to end it. No, no, no. No? One Dar more topic? Darman. Oh, right. Darman. Okay. I cannot believe we came up with so many things to talk about, considering I didn't right? even know what we were going to discuss before <laughs> coming in here. We weren't even planning on discussing it. I know. Anything. I just wanted to record some exactly. shorts. <laughs> and then I didn't. I recorded <laughs> one. Um, so this is, this is going to be brief. Um... So, I, a little birdie told me, mm -hmm. and by that I mean a Darman video, not a Darman video, a Jarvis Johnson video about Darman. So, the actors that were protesting have been fired, I believe. Dang, all of them? Mm-hmm. That is hella crazy. I know. Um, and, but I do think they're going, they're making their own channel where they can tell their own stories now, and I don't know the name of the channel so this mm. is awkward it's crazy because it was mostly his main actors mm -hmm. so i feel like i would end up watching their channel more than his our man actors main channel. oh 
Okay, it's just so dark, man. Thank you for that. <laughs> I'm gonna check out their Instagrams or something. Hold on. All right, we're back. I had to sneeze. <laughs> um. But yeah, so Darman posted a thing on his Instagram of the actors that have not been fired. Um. Which of course include uh, what's her name, Catherine Norland. She's yeah. die hard. <laughs> Which is fine. Because she gets paid. That's what she said. She's never experienced anything bad, so she can't complain, man. See, that's the crazy thing. It's like, if you benefit from something, it's hard to see that other people... Aren't. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, let's see. This past week has been a roller coaster of emotions. I'm saddened for those affected by everything going on and for the various misleading stories that have been spread. I just met with some great actors who have been with us from the beginning, and we are all doing our best to get through this together in a respectful and positive way. By the way, comments aren't allowed on this post. I wonder why. I mean, I wouldn't want the hate comments either, so <laughs> I'd probably turn them off if I were him too. <laughs> For those who don't know, there have been recent protests at our studio by a group of actors, many of whom we have not worked with in years. Listen, I feel like... I don't know who to side with because both sides have a story and we can't know the truth from just hearing what both of them say. See, my thing is, Darman is a massive company and I have a harder time believing a massive company over creators, you know, because creators are always abused by capitalism. True. So I will always side with the creator before I side with the company. I feel like in no case, I, I try not to side with anyone until, like, there's solid evidence. Because you could think one thing, and then it'll end up being a completely different thing. Like, you never know. But I can see where they're coming from, though, the actors. Um, I remember um, in one of the live streams, they mentioned that there's, this, there's a way where um, most of these... Pr the way they're paid is project-based, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So basically what will happen is they'll call them for a project and be like, okay, I need you to be available Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. And then they'll be like, Cle clear your schedule, don't do anything Monday through Friday. <laughs> so then they might call on Thursday and be like, okay, we just need you for Friday. <clears throat> so that whole week, you couldn't take any other jobs because there was a potential that you could be called in. Okay. Um, so that's potential income that you're losing by being available for the whole week and then you only end up going on Friday. And what a normal company would do is they would pay you kind of compensation for that Either time that way. you weren't there. Yeah. They pay you like a fee. Hmm. So that for any potential work you may have lost, you don't, you know, lose out on income. And Darman apparently does not do that. They don't pay that fee. Then I guess that's where he went wrong. And it's like, they also, like, they didn't mind the lower paychecks when this was, uh... A, like, a lower channel, right? Yeah, when they were just remember doing that. the thing in some guy's basement. <laughs> That's not true, but... But now that he's a multi-millionaire with millions of subscribers... Yeah. And dollars... <laughs> it's like, they should, they feel like they should be paid more for their efforts, and... I kind of agree on that. Cause I, like, I agree, too. Especially when they say they can't afford rent. Like, it just seems like they want, you know, enough to just live comfortably. Yeah. I can get that. And even in this case, it could be simple miscommunication. It could be that he needs to change something about his company. But mm -hmm. I feel like I don't want to judge any side until there's, like, solid evidence that he's purposely... <laughs> mistreating me. I think that he's like ignorant at best. I guess. Yeah. I like feel he's, like that's he's the just case. not realizing somehow. I don't know somehow. how you would miss this. It's the three big. <laughs> 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 it's a six car garage. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking triggered, dude. Okay. <laughs> I was reading this. 
These protesters represent a small percentage of the thousands of actors we have and do not represent the views of all actors. The protesters have said that I won't meet with the actors and did not show up for a planned meeting. That's not true. I love meeting with actors and talking to them whenever I'm at the studio. But if there's ever a formal meeting request from an actor, the meeting usually starts with the head of production or our HR manager, not me personally. I understand that case. You want to keep reading? <laughs> okay. When the protesters requested a meeting, it was scheduled with our management, uh, management team. It was never communicated that I would attend. During that meeting, the protesters did not communicate any concerns and instead walked out within a few minutes. Given the unsuccessful meeting, we asked they put their concerns in writing so we could address them. Instead, they came to our studio to disrupt productions, causing stress to crew members and actors. Certain protesters even spread false information to hurt the studio, my family, and me. That's the reason why I have not met with these individuals. I would also like to address the misinformation being spread by protesters that we don't pay our actors. This is 100% not true. We always pay actors for any work they perform. We don't have any full-time actors. We offer project-based opportunities. This is a standard practice in the production and acting industry. All details, including pay rate and length of production, are specified in the offer letter, and the actor has freedom to accept or decline the project. If accepted, actors are paid within 72 hours after a production wraps. Our current rates for actors with speaking roles are $33 to $44 an hour. Why is this so long? <laughs> While I'm taking the steps to stop the spread of misinformation, I do acknowledge that there's always opportunity for growth. So today in my meetings with actors, we came up with ways to improve things such as a more sufficient, uh, efficient booking system, stronger communication and more consistent hours and pay these changes are now in motion my mission on why i started this channel has always been to spread positivity although this time has been a challenging time i'm never going to stop working hard towards that goal i do ask to stop i'm sorry i do ask to please stop with any negative comments especially towards actors regardless of their views i'm so thankful for all your love and support darman I feel like I understand his side more now. Oh my gosh. I, I can't. This is why I said I can't side with anyone. Because if what he's saying is true. I feel like it's. Uh, I feel like he's twisting the facts, you know? Because, like, um. No, I feel like he addressed everything, though. If they just walked in and they didn't say that they wanted to speak specifically with him. Um. I'm, I don't have all the information because I only watched the video like a couple of times. Uh, my <laughs> goodness. It's, this is why it's confusing. I know. I know that other actors said that they did ask for a meeting, and when they got there, he wasn't there, so they walked out a couple minutes after. I think that wasn't quite how it happened. That's just how he said it happened. It was more like um, they walked in and were like, uh, can we speak to Dar?" I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to say something wrong, so I'm not gonna. No, you can keep going. <laughs> Who's gonna see this? Like we're just being honest. Oh, you know what? I I keep forgetting these videos only get like 20 views. <laughs> I think he did say that they wanted to speak to Darman though. Yeah, they specifically requested for either Darman or this other guy, and neither of them showed up. And they didn't just walk but out I immediately. Mean... It was like, I don't know. I don't get how their meeting stuff works, so I can't even speak on that, honestly. It's, it's whatever. Well, honestly, it's nice that you want to see both sides of the story. I wish people would do that for me more. Most people would just... <sighs> <laughs> let, me, let me not even get into it, because I'm going to get pissed. Because I, I, just, I just feel like people don't take the time to listen to my side. They just assume that I'm overreacting or just getting upset about something. And it's like, listen... Even if I'm overreacting, it's not over nothing. There is a problem see, I, here. That's why I try to see both sides. And that's partly why people say I'm naive a lot. But <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I've got people that like accuse me of doing like really bad things that I didn't Dang. do because they just assume. And I'm like, did you ask me first? Though? Exactly. That, you didn't ask me. <laughs> Like what? I don't like that. What? 
it, that pisses me the fuck off when people just assume that my intentions are bad because they <laughs> said so. Uh, okay, know, that's, that's why I try to just stay positive and view both sides before. And even then, I try not to judge anyone because no one's perfect and... Like, you'd have to do something really bad for me to judge you so hard. <laughs> like, murder or something. <laughs> but, yeah. There's always two sides to a story. Definitely. We should we, be wrapping it up. We sure as hell know that after the stuff that happened. Def- definitely. <laughs> like, that surprised me. <laughs> we, we can't tell you the stuff that happened. It's personal stuff. Yes. Our lives on the podcast are limited i guess yeah <laughs> all right um is that everything i guess it, it better is. be everything you only booked up to 3 30 i know but what, <laughs> what what is rachel gonna do come in and drag us out yes <laughs> and we may we managed to record for an hour anyway dang it might be a little less because yeah. i'm gonna cut out a lot of the pauses okay this All right, is where guys. we wrap it up. Um, impromptu es- episode. Ugh, I can't speak. Jeez. Okay. Um, yes, this is where we will end it for today. Yep. Um, go ahead and watch my video, my Loud House video. Uh, follow me everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just get a bunch of people at my doorstep tomorrow morning, and I'm like, "Where did you guys come from?" Exactly. <laughs> you said to follow us everywhere. You, <laughs> you said to follow you everywhere. I'm like, hold on. That probably won't even happen anyway because, like, um, because the episode won't be out tonight. It'll probably be out tomorrow. Night. Ah true that's what i was gonna say but i true, lost true. it <laughs> um oh yeah i've been live streaming i've been trying to live stream on instagram i think saturday nights is when you guys said that i should so saturday nights i live stream i try to i have a shift tomorrow and i will explain more about that later <laughs> but it depends on what time you live stream most likely after 9 30 p.m est hmm. i say that as if the episode will be out in time maybe that'll work out because i think i set it from 11 to 1 a.m damn did i explain to you what why the is, shifts are why is it at night did i explain to you no <laughs> <laughs> i think i was talking about it with um vanessa earlier but you you were kind of ahead of us so oh okay. after i'll explain <laughs> um yeah, uh, I live stream on Instagram now. I, I try to, Saturday, so try to join that. Um, Keys has a study account on Instagram that you guys could follow. I do. One that I should probably post to. Like, <laughs> I can give you photos of the sunset yesterday. Oh, yes, please. Actually, I have... Hmm. I like how everyone is just... Where is my study account? Where is it? <laughs> Isn't it like study life? I changed the name. Why would you do that? Because <laughs> I think I had like an impromptu thought that I should make it into a poetry um, slash photography slash studying account. So I sort of <laughs> changed the name. Okay, well, if that's your thing, go ahead and follow Karki's account. The link will be in the description below. <laughs> Oh, no, you're supposed to edit next week's episode. Ugh, yeah. I didn't even finish last week's episode. Last week's episode will come out out of order, probably, because I'm lazy. Oh, no. <laughs> um, is that it? I think that's it. Watch video, follow, subscribe. Um, yep, we'll that's see about you it. next episode. <laughs> Not literally see you, but you know what I mean. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Bye, guys. Bye.